Dear guests of International Conference on Interdisciplinary Research in Social Science, welcome to the presentation of my bachelor thesis titled Analysis of the Effect of Institutional Distance on the Level of Control of Multinationals in the Indonesian Medium High and High Technology Industry. My name is Rupramud Gitya, and if you have any inquiries for my bachelor thesis, you can contact me via email or via the LinkedIn link that I have provided in this presentation. I am a double degree student from Bandung Institute of Technology and the University of Groningen, which I have published my thesis from. This presentation will include the following. First, research background and research gap, research aim and objective, research question, hypothesis development, conceptual model, data and methodology, results and discussion, research contribution, limitation and recommendation, and conclusion. First, let's begin with the introduction. The background of my bachelor thesis, first, that multinational corporations are key players in globalizing research and innovation, injecting capital technology into foreign markets. Especially in Indonesia, the country is currently ranked 60th in terms of economic, emphasizing on the importance of their manufacturing sectors, particularly in medium and high technology industry. As been exclaimed by the Ministry of Industry of the Republic of Indonesia, Indonesia is currently embarking on a vision of making Indonesia 4.0. Um, that will be achieved in 2030. Therefore, to realize this vision, the Indonesian government seeks increased foreign investment, making an understanding of multinational corporation strategic decision, especially in control, very crucial. Institution is regarded as the rules of the game in society, as been mentioned by North, is play a role in institutional theory in helping to comprehend the distance between different places where MNCs operate. Recognizing this distance is essential for MNC to navigate challenges and opportunities, setting boundaries for their operations. Therefore, the research gap for my bachelor thesis focuses on how institutional theory uh, lacks enough studies on the impact of distance measure on how company transfers practice and control their operation in a foreign country. There are also claim that there is few papers connect institutional distance to management and organizational issues, especially in terms of entry control strategy for emerging versus developed nations. Therefore, the research question from those re the research gap that I've previously mentioned that uh, for my bachelor thesis is how does institutional distance impact the action of control instructed by ex exerted by multinational firms in Indonesia medium high to high technology industry as evidenced by their inclination towards engaging in majority stake deals through this central research question this paper will be able to test the relationship between institutional distance and strategic control decision of multinational corporation that are represented towards their inclination to hold a majority ownership stake which is an ownership stake that is above 50 percent in order to answer this research question, first, we need to review various related literature. The literature that has been reviewed will be focused on these five variables. First, the dependent variable, which is the majority stake deals, the inclination of MNCs entering Indonesia to conduct majority stake deals. The first independent variable, which consists of formal institutional distance. Second independent variable, informal institutional distance. Moderating variable, host market experience. And control variable, spatial distance. First, the first independent variable, which is formal institutional distance. Formal institutional distance is categorized into two views. First, economic institutionalism. This view highlights that institutional distance influences multinational cooperation and how negative distance means that less developed institution causing inefficiencies, while positive distance poses a challenge in adapting to rules. Both Positive and negative institutional distance leads to multinational cooperation to choose lower level of ownership, producing control in a new country. Also, a finding by Gore, Mohatra, and Zeus support this by emphasizing firm's alliance on partners in distance places. Regardless of their direction, high institutional distance make multinational cooperation less likely to pursue majority stake deals in Indonesia high-tech industry. Hence, hypothesis one is the following. Second view is through organizational institutionalism lens. Legitimacy challenges arise while greater institutional distance. As noted by Kostova and Kostova Zahir, the struggle in establishing legitimacy in distant host country is very much prevalent. The 
Finding shows that reduce survival rates at high institutional distance. Therefore, this paper argues that as institutional distance increases, multinational corporations are less likely to pursue majority stake deals in Indonesia, high tech, medium to high tech technology industry due to heightened isomorphism aligning with ha proposed hypothesis one. The proposed hypothesis one of this bachelor thesis says that the higher formal institutional distance leads to multinational firms' inclination to not conduct majority stake deals in Indonesia, medium, high, and high tech industry. The second independent variable, which consists of informal institutional distance, and said that, as argued by contractor et al., there is a positive correlation between this informal institutional distance and ownership level in India and China. The lower institutional the lower distance reduces perceived uncertainty but involve trade-offs in cost, risk, and control. As studies by Arslan and Larmino and Chuke and Borini support that indicating higher informal institutional distance leads to multinational firms to prefer greenfield projects in emerging markets. This is conducted to avoid integration costs in the medium, high, and high technology industry. Characterized by R&D intensivity, Ambus and Slagulmish suggest that interdependencies among multinational entities establishing uh, is very much crucial. This establish a positive relationship between informal institutional distance and firm strategy control decision. Therefore, hypothesis two is proposed, where the higher informal institutional distance will lead to multinational firms' inclination towards conducting majority stake deals in Indonesia, medium, high, and high technology industry. This virtual thesis also employ a moderating variable called host market experience. Host market experience shapes multinational participation in Indonesia high-tech industries, influencing risk management. It aids efficient resource transfer and strategic practice across borders. Finding support a positive moderating relationship between host market experience and institutional distance and ownership level. Therefore, hypothesis 3A is proposed. Uh, while in terms of informal institutional distance, prior experience reduces relational risk, fostering social knowledge and integration for local legitimacy. This amplified a positive relationship shown in hypothesis two previously mentioned, as experience by MNCs are more likely to transfer knowledge in Indonesia's high-tech industry with high interdependence and knowledge transfer, as explained by Ambos and Schlegmanish, 2007. Therefore, hypothesis 3A and 3B is proposed. 3A is when multinational has previously entered into Indonesian medium high and high technology industry, the negative relationship of formal institutional distance and majority stake deals will be strengthened. While hypothesis 3B focuses on when multinational has previously entered into Indonesian medium high and high technology industry, the positive relationship of informal institutional distance and majority stake deals will be strengthened. Therefore, the conceptual model of set hypothesis can be represented in this conceptual model, where formal institutional distance have negative relationship to the dependent variable and formal institutional distance have positive relationship to the dependent variable and how host market experience uh, amplifies the relationship between each independent variables towards the dependent variables. In order to conduct this bachelor thesis, the methods that is utilized is as follows. In terms of finding the company level, da company level data, the study has the hypothesis using a sample of 209 deals from the Zephyr database sourced by Bureau Van Dijk, analyzing, uh, an analysis company uh, level deals across Indonesia, medium high and high technology industry from the year 1998 to 2023. The data initially comprising of 715 deals, that, which is further filtered and undergo rigorous filtering due to various missing value and consistency, which yield a result of 209 samples. In terms of the first independent variable, the study uh, utilizes the data from World Governor uh, Index from World Bank Survey, which consists of institutional quality and be further uh, calculated using cogit and sync uh, distance index so that uh, distance uh, measure could be half from uh, formal institutional distance. While in terms of informal institutional distance, we use the data from Hofstadter culture dimension, which utilizes six dimensions, includes power distance, individuality, masculinity, avoiding ambiguity, avoiding ambiguity and long-term orientation and in, in dun, indulgences, as its six dimension will be further calculated into a distance measure using Cogit and Sync Euclidean Distance Index, yeah, which has also been proposed by Du and Boutang in 2015. For the moderating variable, this study employs a dummy variable where the value of one indicating past experiences of entering into the Indonesian medium, high, and high technology 
industry where barrier of zero indicating a known prior entry to the industry. There is also a control variable, which is special institutional di of spatial distance, which is a uh, measure of physical separation between the capital cities of the multinational's home country and the host country, which is Indonesia. These are the various variables that is utilized in this special thesis. Uh, your guests could see each of the various acronyms used for each of the variables that has been explained. And the model specification for the logistic regression result is also been mentioned here. Therefore, let's move to the results. The results of this bachelor thesis first can be seen from its descriptive statistic. In summarization, the, there's 51.19% of multinational corporation that is engaged in majority stake deals in Indonesia with a deal size of variability of standard deviation 0.08. Formal institutional distance averages 5.235, while informal institutional distance averages at 3.99, and special distance averages at 4374.03 from prospective companies' home country towards Indonesia. Housemark experience in Indonesia tech industry consists of 42.6% of multinational that has previously entered to Indonesia, and the distribution are generally Plactocortic with a kurtosis less than three, and and there is a leptocortic distribution seen from special distance with kurtosis more than three. In terms of the logistic regression results, we have six model in the logistic regression. First model support hypothesis one that has been mentioned previously, indicating a significant negative relationship with a coefficient of minus zero point eight nine and p value less than 0 0.01, while model 2 supports hypothesis 2, revealing a positive relationship for informal institutional distance with a coefficient of 0 0.53 and p-value less than 0 0.01. The control variable in model 3 for special geographic distance yields non-significant results, and model 4 includes hostmark experience as moderator showing a negative relationship with a coefficient of minus 0 0.878 when p-value less than 0 0.01. The logistic regression result for model 5 and 6 and actually finds the relationship between interaction effect with the moderating variables shows a support for hypothesis 3b with a coefficient of 0 0.779 and p-value less than 0 0.05, uh, while model 5 uh, does not uh, support hypothesis 3a. The overall model fits is indicated by the p-values in Pearson chi-square of 0 0.7716 and hosmer lemeshow tests with 0 0.887, which are greater than 0 0.08, shows greater reliability and model fit of the overall logistic regression results. The, discuss the discussion of the logistic regression results shows that hypothesis, hypothesis 1 of from institutional distance uh, deters multinational firms from conducting majority stake deals in Indonesia's medium, high, and high tech industry, as is supported the hypothesis. This aligns with the findings of Gary et al., which shows the inclination of firms to conduct shared ownership in institutional distant countries. While hypothesis two, linking informal institutional distance to an inclination of majority stake deal, is affirmed in a consistent manner with contractor et al and Ambos and Schlemmerschleis, em emphasizing interdependence for strategic control. Contrary to hypothesis 3 that is proposed in this thesis, host market experience doesn't moderate the relationship. However, hypothesis 3b is supported, indicating a positive moderating effect on MNC inclination for majority stake deals, aligning with Zahir findings of Robert Schatzberg argument. Finally, we came in into the conclusion of my bachelor thesis. First is in terms of the theoretical implication and theoretical contribution towards overall international business literature. The empirical validation of hypothesis one and two underscored the impact of institutional distance on multinational cooperation control in Indonesia, medium, high, and high tech industry. This study addresses the research gap highlighted previously while offering a theoretical insight into the influence of institutional distance on institutional organizational control level. Focus on Indonesia high tech industry, it contributes understanding emerging market economy as well. While the managerial implication provide a new understanding of the problem. This study offers an important insight for multinational cooperation in Indonesia tech sector. It suggests caution for MNC into entering their into employing their strategic decision and getting a preference for shared ownership 
and not too much control due to formal institutional differences. On the other hand, informal institutional distance call for more control, especially in tech incentive activities. MNCs enter Indonesia tech sector need to find balance. A partner wisely to reduce control but keep a strong grip on tech activities to manage risk. This strategic balance is crucial for success in Indonesia's ever-changing technological industrial landscape. Finally, we enter into the limitation of this study. This study exclusively focused on a particular industry, which is the medium, high, and high tech sector. In terms of scope, this paper lacks in-depth examination of control nuances with high ownership levels, neglecting potential variation between wholly owned subsidiaries and majority stake deals. This study also briefly touches on ownership consultation influences on decision-making without exploiting the average control mechanism. The moderation effect and future research suggestion, the disproof hypothesis regarding host mark experience seen in hypothesis 3A, contradicts existing research, signaling potential industrial-specific influences that is not has been considered in this batch of thesis. This affirmed hypothesis 3B, however, prompt for the investigation into mechanism driving the positive moderating effect. Therefore, future research suggestion should explore industry nuances and potential confounding variables for more robust and applicable findings. Finally, the key takeaways from my thesis is that the, this research look at how different rules on customs in the Indonesia tech industry affect big international companies' decision. It found that when the formal rules are very different, these companies prefer not to fully own their operation. On the other hand, when informal customs are different, they are more likely to fully own their operation. This study helps to understand this decision in a market with a lot of technology. For companies, it suggests being flexible with ownership depending on the rules. However, the study focuses on Indonesia and the tech industry, and more research is needed to explore different factors and industry. Thank you for listening of my bachelor thesis presentation.